I kicked my anxieties ass today. I'm so proud of myself. I feel like whew, I'm coming down. Like I was literally having heart palpitations. So I struggle with really bad social anxiety as I've gotten older. Um, just because of life events, you know? Um, ignore my missing nails. It's been a rough day. Just stay focused, okay? For a minute. So I had to come to my baby's track meet. My oldest son, shouldn't call him a baby. Track meet today. And it's like a lot of people. And I decided a couple weeks ago, I think it was, that I just wasn't going to let anxiety cripple me like it's been doing for the past um shit probably eight years um because i watched the know for sure podcast and it uh megan was talking about how b simone has developed anxiety because of her life events you know getting canceled and people being so mean and all this stuff and naturally i'm a bubbly person and love people and stuff like that but when people you get accustomed to people being so mean it starts putting you in a little bubble in a little shell and i'm trying to protect so many people like when my anxiety first started i was trying to protect my job and i'm now like i'm trying to protect my family my mother so i can't just strangle you so it makes me just want to go into a shell and just not talk or anything, you know? So I decided when I got out the car, I'm like, I am Tian Shay, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like my old self. And I'm like, I'm not going to just let this cripple me. So I walked with my walk, how I, how I do my thing, like before I go speak or something like that. I don't have anxiety in groups, like, but with people, you just never know. People are just so mean and I want to punch you and I can't. So that just, uh, but I'm so proud of myself. Like I literally got in my car and I wanted to cry because everybody that said, Hey, oh, you T and I was, I was walking with my head up. So it made people want to say hi and stuff more, you know? Because anxiety for me, like Megan mentioned with B. Simone, is the trick of the enemy. Because people already have so many assumptions about me. So if I'm acting in their minds like rude by not speaking, because they don't know I have anxiety, it's easier for them to say, oh, she is a bitch. Oh, she is rude. Oh, she is standoffish. When that's not who I am at all, you know? Um, so, yeah. I'm just so proud. My anxiety started, and I've said this before, if you've been watching any of the YouTube videos, like with my old job, um, because people just didn't care if I was out with, you know, or just on a walk or out with my family, my children, in a hospital, anything. People did not care. Like, oh, I'm glad I saw you. Can you do this about my house? So I had um, just wanting me to, do stuff with their file like I don't carry your fucking file with me like I don't carry it I can't do anything that I'm gonna forget can you just it just was a lot then you know I'm a Vic and all that kind of stuff so people have said oh you know I can't stand this family member and, da -da -da. and I'm like this is my family this is my family like I can punch you in your teeth but I can't. Then my mom, people, I'm in the store. People come, well, I just don't know what your mom has done. This is my mama. This is my mama. Like, I wouldn't dare do some of this stuff to anybody, let alone somebody's mama. Then as soon as I would have dragged you through the tomatoes, everybody, who? T crazy, Lord Jesus, no. Then with the restaurant, I have anxiety about even leaving the restaurant. Then like now, somebody's texting me, oh, I didn't get my shrimp and all that kind of... If you're not dying, like just take a minute sometimes and just say, this girl works seven days a week. If I ain't about to die, like let's just let the staff that she pays 
their salary and a lot of taxes to do their job like let's just just let them just let them do their job you know then i gotta go in this stadium and at my kids thing and he runs for my high school i'm always worried that people will be mean to him or dislike him because of me and you know a lot of life events um i've been on the news before for negative things and i just started feeling like you know people saying anything or people you know but I'm just very, I'm just so proud of myself right now. I'm just very, I just feel relieved and I'm not going to let anxiety do because I can't, I don't know who I, who might need me talking to them. And if I'm looking like I'm standoffish, um, you know, of course, most conversations are going to be probably some bullshit, but I don't know who might need some help who might need my services or something, you know? So who just might need my energy and I'm not gonna let the devil attack who I am anymore. So fuck you, Satan!